Hi everyone, I am Vaisyo Prasad, working as an associate professor in CSE department, Guntur Engineering College. In this class, we are going to discuss about pattern description in software architecture and design pattern. Pattern description. Already you know what is a pattern. In our previous classes, we have discussed about pattern. Pattern means repeated nature of operation to solve a particular problem. When you are arranging some elements in a specific order for repeated activity, you call it as pattern. For example, you consider shirt patterns. Sometimes you call it as checks as one pattern, stripes as one pattern. Like that we consider some, de some different designs as different patterns. So pattern means same sequence of operations we repeatedly use for repeated nature of work. So we call it as patterns. So tire marks, patterns like that we, we have so many patterns in our day to day life. In the same way, in the same way, in the software architecture also we use patterns. So we call it as software patterns. The software patterns are reusable solutions to the recurring problem. Means so whenever the problem is occurring in the repeated nature, we use the same pattern of solution. We use same pattern of solutions. To handle these patterns of solutions, there are four essential elements. The pattern name is serving as a handle name. So instead of giving the entire description of the pattern, simply we make a name. For example, if you say, if you say, uh, for example, uh, doctor, you need not to describe the roles and responsibilities of the doctor. Whenever you say doctor, automatically you got an imagination. Yes, wearing a white coat and is having a stethoscope and uh, giving the treatment, needles, so tablets, everything you get immediately. Actually, I have not given all those descriptions, but whenever I use the word doctor, immediately you have recollected some information regarding that. Whenever I say soldier, immediately we imagine some dress, some uniform, cap, rifles, guns, etc. So that is the use of name. The name is used to give describe the characteristics of the pattern. So the name help the user to describe the describe the pattern of the class, sorry, the patterns with another colleagues and it helps in the documentation. Pattern is a high level abstraction. The problem describes when to apply the pattern. It explains the problem and its context. It might describe the design problem such as how to represent algorithms as object. Sometimes it may describe the object structures that are their symptotics and inflexible designs. Sometimes the problem will include a list of conditions that must be that must be met before it takes as so to apply the patterns. So when to apply pattern is you are clear. That means whenever the pro you consider the context of the problem. In what type of situations we can use it. How to represent the algorithms. So like that we assume. Next what are the sequence consequences. The consequences are the result and the trade-offs of applying the patterns. Trade-off in the sense, when you want to acquire something, you need to lose something. You call it as trade-off. For example, if you want to settle in your life in a better manner, now you need to compromise with your enjoyments, temporary enjoyments. So you need to spend your time on your academics. So that means if you to forgetting the long-term benefits, you are compromising with the short-term benefits. In the same way, for example, if you enjoy a lot at the present and not focusing on the academics, then you need to compromise with the long-term future. So that is a trade-off. If you want to gain something, you need to lose something. So for what cost we are, ge what cost we are getting the new thing and what benefit you are losing with the present thing. So it is like a cost and benefit analysis. For example, in the software industry, for example, if they want to spare, if they want to save the cost, what security they are compromising? In the same as security and performance. If they want to give high security, automatically system gets slowed down. For example, if you install antivirus and automatic checking for every file in your system, automatically download, download speed will be reduced. 
because every packet incoming and every packet outgoing will be scanned and the scanning consumes more resource of your internet or your computer automatically you feel slowness of your computer that means it is when you try to increase the security you need to compromise with the speed if you want to increase the speed you need to compromise with some other features like that so you call it as trade off what we are gaining and what we are losing in the space in the same way space and time trade off cost and benefit analysis so it gives the impact on the system flexibility extensibility and operate uh, portability there are so many cost and benefit analysis or trial and error efforts the based upon this we choose the best way to get the result the best in the sense it a best solution is not a best solution for all the best changes from person to person organization to organization if an organization give top priority to the security they are giving the high priority to the security compromising the speed in the same if an organization giving the top priority to the speed they are compromising with the security like that we cannot say this is the best solution for all the people the best in the sense the software which is most suitable for the organizational requirements the software which is suitable for the organizational requirements for example you say best movie i say so we cannot say this is the best movie for example you young people may love love more uh, are romantic movies so i love comedy movies some other people love some sad story movies that means we cannot say this is the best so if it feels if it suits your requirements if it matches your requirements you call it as the best so the best is not a best for all so the or the architect will choose the best solution according to the requirements of the organization so the solution does not describe a particular concrete solution it is working like a template it is working like a template next organizing the catalogs so you know about catalog when you visit any hotel generally the server or the bearer will give the catalog so why just in the catalog you have seen some foods beverages some ice creams like desserts biryani non veg items veg items like that so why they are making the group elements into similar similar type of products into one group yes you are right easy pick up easy pick up so if i want to take a biryani i need not to go through the entire menu just i get to the biryani section i choose my preferable dish in the same way if i want to choose an ice cream i need not to go through the entire menu i go to the ice cream section and i choose for example vanilla butterscotch latte like that i choose my favorite ice cream that is the use of a catalog catalog makes the work easier we can pick up the relevant pattern very easily a classification of design patterns so basically the design patterns are divided into two groups they two criteria based upon two criteria one is the purpose and another one is scope purpose means what does the pattern what the pattern does so basically the pattern purposes are creational structural and behavioral already you know creational structural and behavioral categories of the pattern creational pattern concerned about the creation of an object the best way to create an object structural pattern deals with the composition of the classes or object how the classes are interacting with each other how the classes have been arranged together you call it a structure next behavioral it is a combination of actions and reactions the pattern behavioral pattern characterizes that way that classes and objects interact and distribute the responsibility how the functionality have been shared among them will be described in the behavioral pattern you know about these three categories of patterns creational structural and behavioral next second criteria is called scope scope means whether the patterns are applied primarily to the classes or objects if the patterns are applied for the classes this is one scope and if the patterns are applied for object this is another if you consider class patterns it shows the relationship between the class and their subclasses next object pattern deals with the relationship between the objects which change at the run time 
they are dynamic class patterns are static now you see the diagram so four others together known as gang of fours have developed one book have written one book called as uh, design patterns applications and these four others together are called as gang of four gang of four g o f according to the g o f these are the categories of the pattern creational pattern structural pattern and behavioral pattern all around 23 design patterns are there just you go through the design patterns okay this design pattern represent the best practice and used to experienced object and they used to develop some solutions is they can be called as trialer made softwares so we call it as gof gang of four in 1994 they have developed this book they have written this book named as design pattern elements of reusable object oriented software simply you call it as gof go stands for gang of four okay using this pattern it is to reduce the work repeated nature work can be performed in the easy manner for example you consider singleton design pattern it signifies the use of single object so developers familiar with the single design pattern it will make use of single object and they can tell each other the program in the following single pattern it is the best practice in the evaluated over the long period of time okay thank you